Last month, we learned that there is a lack in access to dental care. The good news, there is a way to fix that. Dr. Michael Verber and Senator Rothman are back with us. Verber Dental Group is sponsoring this segment. So you're recently on with Senator Rothman, we we're talking about this lack of access to dental care. It's, it's really a crisis in Pennsylvania, but you're gonna talk about a silver lining. What is that silver lining? Well, yeah, there is a silver lining because, you know, even though this is a, a catastrophic problem right now, there's a fix to it. Um, we need more, you know, dental health care workers. We need more dental hygienists, extended function dental assistants, treatment coordinators, uh, folks that are wanting to work in the field. Um, and Central Penn College and, and other schools are now launching those programs. Um, and the silver lining is they're just great careers. You can uh, do very, very well with, you know, not a whole lot of student debt. Last time you were here, you were, excuse me, really singing the praises of Central Penn College. You're a big supporter. Why is that? So, yeah, Central Penn represents, I believe, the, the sort of the new uh, way that uh, advanced education is going to work, where it's about uh, creating opportunities to work. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a workforce issue as well. About half of the kids who graduate from a students who graduate from liberal arts schools end up working in the field where their major is. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, but Central Penn, 90% of those kids end up, when they graduate or as they go through, get a job in the field they studied. Uh, it's also good for continuing education. It's not a traditional where you're going for four years. Um, you can get certificates, you can get um, associate's degrees, and then you can go on somewhere else if you want to get a four-year degree too. But sure. uh, I think this is a great example of a program where we're educating these young people in order to go right into the workforce or to continue their education while they're in the workforce. It's a advance. very practical education. And then, I think. and then it makes economic sense. If you're going to invest in paying tuition and going to school, you ought to have a return on your investment, and that's what you'll see at Central Penn College. Well, speaking of you know money involved here, we hear a lot about student debt. Mm -hmm. How are your efforts supporting Central Penn College relating to that? Yeah, so I, I think Central Penn's able to show that they can, um, that there's a, there's a return on the investment and, uh, and they're much more affordable than uh, some of the traditional schools. And then in addition, you have partnerships um, uh, like Dr. Verber and his group that are helping to raise money to fund these programs. As you learn more and more about this, what have you learned about the dental industry that you think makes it like a great place to pursue a career? Well, my dad always told us to brush and floss the teeth we wanted to keep. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and now I've taught that to my children too. But uh, dental, dental, I've learned a lot about the, the, uh, the, how dental health care affects your entire body health care. Yep, yep. How do, we, how do we pursue a career? How do we get more information about this? Well, first, I want to thank Senator Rothman for all his support, and he, he has become an advocate for, uh, for dental health, and, you know, he keeps winning these elections, but if he ever loses the election, I'm going to try to talk him into a dental hygiene career, because we, <laughs> we could definitely use the help. I think he's but, interested. Yeah, Central Penn is a, is a great option. Like Centra, uh, Senator Rothman mentioned, it's, it's affordable. They have accelerated programs, so you can get to work and make a living um, in a reasonable period of time, and folks can learn more about that by going to centralpenn.edu. Terrific. Thanks to Thank both you. of you for being here again.